Yo, what's up guys here? It is GTA Pupser here and welcome back to another GTA 6 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some interesting news that yes, today we might be seeing some basically good news or just some type of idea about maybe a GTA 6 title release coming soon or basically just any big updates with GTA 5 in general or basically the GTA franchise or just any big stuff in general so let's get right into today's video so yes guys I said maybe we could be seeing something big today yes that's the answer as you know in my previous videos I did talk about how Take-Two Interactive the parent company with Rockstar Games you know that take two you know they sort of you know publish the game and all and all that kind of fun jazz well they have their earnings call every you know month talking about you know how much money they made and any 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 of the financial spectrum and you're thinking well if they're gonna have financial stuff with this conference why do you think they're gonna release something big in this conference well in the past they have uh, you know, released big stuff. Not not big in a way, but they, they do mention Rockstar and what they have plans and everything like that. So I'm thinking, well, if they're going to have this conference today, uh, maybe something might pop up. So anyway, on your screen right now, on the Take-Two Interactive page, it says Event Details, QU4 2020, Take-Two Interactive Software, Inc. Earnings Conference Call, 5 20 20 at 4 30 p.m eastern standard time now as you know when this video is coming out it is actually may 20th and when i'm going to release this video it'll be approximately 30 minutes from the time i release this video until the conference now i didn't know but you probably guys don't know i do have a job another job quote unquote so i will not be able to listen to the conference call but in their take two interactive uh website they go on to state, Take-Two Interactive Software Inc., NASDAQ Take-Two today has announced that it plans to report financial results for its fourth quarter in financial year 2020, ended March 31st, 2020. After the market closed on Wednesday, May 20, 2020, the company plans to hold a conference call to discuss its results at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, which can be accessed by dialing this number. Or this number, a live listen only webcast, and a replay of the call will be available at blank blank website. So, yes, guys, maybe we can see some big news coming up. As I said, they do go over the financial part of this, but because you know we're thinking of maybe a GTA Relix GTA 6 release soon, maybe we're thinking maybe they will you know, maybe talk about something, you know, maybe huge or just something related to the Grand Theft Auto titles that we might hear interesting. Now, guys, if I do see any interesting parts of this, I will be sure to update you. I know when I get home from my job, I will listen to this call and see what they have to say from uh, from the CEO of Take-Two Inter Take Interactive, Zalnik. So anyway... More news on to this. As we saw, like, I don't know how many months ago with this, but it actually says on your screen right here that plus expect more updates and future surprises as we move forward into the year. So this was a while back ago as I talked about there's still much to come in 2020. I think this was actually released in one of their, like, actually financial calls, like, a while back and they're talking about how in 2020 this is probably in December as I think about it that how much you know what will be coming in a GTA 5 online and what we could hear from this call as they say big updates we never saw any quote-unquote big updates so are they meaning this cops and crooks DLC we don't know which few surprises Rockstar take two interactive have in store for us and they also you know hint at some red dead online stuff as you know I'm not really in the red dead online So we will have to see what is coming up in this conference call I'm not too sure what will be happening, but I'm anxious to see if they talk about anything on GTA And of course I will keep you updated as well as I said so anyway in the GTA 6 news I thought something was pretty interesting uh, Isaiah Thomas, you know, he's someone famous, you know how 
Rockstar has been low-key lately, hasn't said nothing since this COVID-19. As you know, we haven't had a DLC since, like, December, since the Diamond Casino heist. But he goes on to state on Twitter, Why does the time between each GTA take so blank long? Be dope if they have dropped GTA 6 now. And yes, Thomas, oh, I wish there was a release date, man. You just made me laugh on this. As a celebrity, he is basically chiming in on this. You know, he's, it seems like, oh, he's, like, so frustrated with the wait. Rockstar hasn't, like, you know, said anything on their newswire. Just has, hasn't said nothing in general about GTA 6 lately. I think people are just bored of playing it. But, you know, I'm still grinding it on those event weeks and having fun. But Isaiah Thomas, I hopefully we see something soon. And lastly, in today's video, we're going to be going over one thing that Ted's Funds 2 said about how what they could release in GTA 6 of some kind of app. He says, one of the things that interests me about the next title is a compassion app and how far Rockstar take it. Rage Engine engine can now run in ios android systems which allowed them to feature real-time map tracking in rdr2 composition app now imagine what we what can be done for the next composition app maybe it can load the whole interior of your property and you can watch what's going on via cameras well that sounds so cool that you could maybe even use your phone on this why maybe you're not playing gta and you can and watch your friends play Wow, that'd be so cool. But I think Test Funds 2, lastly, is talking about how, you know, how we have our GTA 5 app. You can, you know, make different license plates and all and all that. I think he's talking about that app, what it could mean for the GTA 6 app, as they're saying that the Rage Engine can now run iOS and Android systems. I think he's basically saying maybe they can run better systems. But anyway, that is some cool news that Tez pointed out. Now, guys, just a friendly reminder... If you do want to watch this conference at 4.30 today, today it is, uh, I will put a time converter uh, thing down in the description down below because I know everyone is not in the eastern part of the United States and they probably don't know which time it is, so I will put it down in the description down below. And of course, I know I said it many times, if we do see any, you know, speculation information or anything that just seems too good, I'll, I'll be sure to update you guys. So anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new to join the GTA Pups or family. My name is Pup here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.